Guys, Mr. Popsit here, Greg Lynch, Derm PA. We have a common occurrence on the earlobe. This can either be a epidermal inclusion cyst that's in there, or sometimes a you know abscess that forms from a prior piercing or just a clogged pore. Um, this one I think has been a bump there for a while, so it's likely a cyst that just kind of popped. And these are very simple. We just do a little numbing there. We'll make one little 11 blade cut, and we'll get all that um, expressed out. It's going to feel a lot better for them. So we'll get them all prepped and ready, and that's it. Okay, guys, um, we always talk about the acid base shift. When things are inflamed, they're more acidic, so sometimes the lighter doesn't take as well. I'm going to do just a little pinch here. We already got them wiped down. And we're going to infuse the lidocaine into where we're going to be cutting. Now, he may feel a little pressure here because there's already a lot of fluid in there. Doing okay? A little bit pinch? Yeah. 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 We're gonna wanna blanch this. We'll see how this blanches as I move around. You can see it's blanching in the front. There's a lot of pressure. So we're gonna relieve that in just a second. Don't worry, it might be hurting a little more for a second. There we go. So it's just gonna be a little tiny pinch, okay? All right. You all right there, not bad? Yeah, I'm yeah. okay. Good. There we go, man. You're feeling great. <laughs> that just totally deflated, and we got lots of cyst particles out, too. So. Let's get, we'll hold that on there. You can see we actually got quite a bit of cyst particles. So this was a small cyst in there. It's not just a bacterial abscess. It's likely an inflamed cyst. Um, there's some squirt out in here. I saw something. Yeah. I just don't know where it was. Oh, it was just the fluid. I didn't hit right, <laughs> right there. <laughs> so you can see some of that lidocaine come out in the beginning, and then it was the purulent discharge with cyst particles. So. That's what we want to see. It's looking good. You could just feel it deflate in my hands, which was good. So now we'll come back here. Uh, yeah, just w when we were pushing? Yeah. How about now? Um, not too bad? Not as bad, but it still hurts. Good. Yeah, yeah it's going to be tender for a couple days. Yeah. That lidocaine doesn't take very well, but man, I'm getting a lot of cyst particles out here, so... That's good. Did you numb it at all? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we put quite a bit of Lido in. Now that it was just filling in there, though, now that I got this out, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a little bit more Lido. There's a little cyst particle right there. Yeah, we'll get some of that sack out for you. We actually put a decent amount of Lido. It just doesn't take when it's inflamed, unfortunately. Now I can infuse a little bit here. Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay. How about down here? Yep. I'm going to pause a little bit. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got some more lidocaine in there, and we're gonna press. There's still chunks coming out. Let me know if the pressure is too much. And what we're gonna do is try to break up loculations. Tell me if you have pain, anything there? Nope. How about there? Mm -mm. Very good. So I'm going in and kind of breaking it up a little bit. I like to use a blunt tool. Nothing there? Nope. Good. You're nice and numb. <laughs> now that I got the fluid out, that lidocaine is taking effect, so that's good. Yeah. Got a lot of that pus out. Very good. Now let's see if we get any more cysts. There's some contents just came out. A little bit of pressure. See if I can pop this sack out for you. So you don't have to worry about this coming back. Very nice. It's a good sized cyst actually. You have quite a bit of contents come out. I'm just gonna do see if we can grab a little bit of tugging. If it's hurting, I'll be the first to know. <laughs> there we go. Try to grab. 
Grab that sack there, got it. Very nice. Try and tease this out for him here. Sometimes the bottom of that pocket can be pretty tender. I got a good bit here, cyst wall. Dad, can you reach that? What I'm gonna do is just take the 11 blade and tease the bottom of the sack out for him. Just like that, and dab. Very nice. Almost some more contents right down there starting to come out, yep. Bottom of that sack. We got that. I've actually had quite a few of these lately. Mm. Yeah, common occurrence. Is it mostly like pierced ears and stuff? Sometimes, yeah. And sometimes it's just cysts. I'm getting the bottom of the sack here. Sometimes the abscesses are from piercings, and then um, cysts just kind of happen. They can form on the earlobe. Mm -hmm. That's good. I got the bottom of that sack right here. We'll snip it underneath. Oh, did you see that thing suck right back in there? <laughs> it tore. Let me get that again because I could see the bottom of it. There we go. That a little, a little gently. Perfect. Oh, they're frustrating because they tear easily. So when that happens, sometimes you just put pressure, you can get it to come to the surface. I'll do the old roll technique, just what alligators do. <laughs> and you can roll it out. I'm keeping pressure from the other side. There we go. You can pull that. No pain there? Mm -mm. You're nice and numb. That's good. You got a good bit of sack there. Almost looks like a little hair in the middle, too. Barely protruding mm -hmm. through. You can grab that. Thank you. Just want to see you at the bottom here. I just want to do a little bit of 11 blade. It's kind of the fibrous attachment under the sack there. Sometimes you'll even feel scar tissue from the uh, piercing in the past too. There we go. Nice. That was it. It's kind of the attachment that was underneath. So this isn't like a normal large abscess where you flush it, anything like that. This pocket's actually fairly small once you get that out. What I do though is a little cautery right there at the entrance and that'll get the bottom. If anything's left in there, it kind of cauterizes that for him. I'm looking for scar tissue here. I do see in the middle. So I have... <laughs> Yeah, it's perfect. So one last little bit I want to pull out, and then we should be good. And you're going to sleep better tonight. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, I can even put my head down on that side. Oh, I bet. Thing. That's what people commonly say. Yeah. There, look at that. That's a good piece right there. My earlobe will go back to normal, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. It'll go back down. Swelling will go down. You should be good. Yeah, because it was like twice the size of before. I was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they really swell up when this happens. Yeah. So we're gonna get just the bottom of this. This can be some of that connective tissue parts of the sac left behind. That feels like scar tissue, actually. It's pretty fibrous. No sac left behind. There you go. Yeah, that's from his piercing. You can see there. That was scar tissue from the piercing. I can dab. The ears actually bleed pretty good. This is going to be just a little cautery. It stops the bleeding, gives you an instant scab here. So I want to open this up a little with my fingers. 
like that. No pain? Nope. Good, you're nice and numb. This serves a double purpose, destroying any parts or remnants of the cyst and stopping the bleeding and kind of cauterizing that little hole there and closing it up a little. I don't put a stitch there. I want that to kind of leak and drain. This piercing had a little blood in there. That should stop the bleeding, what we did on the other side. You can see we put kind of like a little wraparound bandage that puts pressure like this. And I do have patience because um, these can bleed a decent amount. Hold pressure for like 10 minutes as they leave too. Um, just kind of pinching it and that helps everything clot off for them. Just a bad angle. Is your neck doing okay? And I got yes. you turned to the side. We're almost done here. I'm hanging in there. Good. Doing great. I'm going to get a little bit. You want to dab? A little bit more cautery there. Deep in that pocket. Perfect. And we'll put a little pressure bandage on them. All right, guys, that was a textbook abscess on the earlobe. We've done lots of those. Um, you can see we got them numb in the beginning when there was so much pressure that lidocaine couldn't go into the pocket. And we just tried to get where we cut him. He did feel a little pressure once we got it out. We could infuse it with a lot more lidocaine and it accepted it better. And then we could get in there and get rough with it. So we got the sack out. We even got the scar tissue attached to his frontal piercing. You can see that little hole just bleed a little bit when we got that. So. That pocket should be clear. It shouldn't come back, but you never know. That's why we always watch these. So thanks for popping by and thanks to him for sharing.